coverage you can count on continues with Drew Blair. Well, it's a pretty great day out here to start your Saturday off, and the weeks of spring really are winding down rather quickly. And if you're in the mood for summer, you can get in the spirit today because it's lemonade day. You're going to see lemonade stands all around the area, and lots of them. So keep a lookout as you're taking care of your weekend errands. Here to talk about lemonade day and what we should expect because it's finally here. We have Kylie Shirey and Phil Morizi. Here we are. We've been planning for this. How excited are you that? It has finally, May 12th has gotten here. Um, we're thrilled. Um, it's been a year of a lot of work, a lot of preparation. Um, more than anything else, we're just excited for the kids to be out there and uh, having their lemonade stands. Of course, we've been working hard to get the word out about Lemonade Day for several weeks now, and hopefully a lot of people are interested in getting out there and participating and buying lemonade. But for anyone who might not be familiar, what is the day really all about for these kids? Lemonade Day is about giving kids the chance to experience entrepreneurship for themselves, to set up their first business or maybe their second business through a lemonade stand and um, get to taste, you know, running their own business for themselves. And the kids around Fort Wayne have really responded in great number to this for the first year. How many stands are you expecting, do you know about, that have registered uh, to be out there today? Yeah, uh, we checked last night, um, and final count was we had just shy of 1,300 kids registered. Um, so hopefully there's lots of stands set around Fort Wayne today. That's fantastic. I wish I was in the lemon business. This would be a good <laughs> weekend. That's a good one, right? Stocks are going up for lemons, I'm sure. Where can we find all of these stands? The stands will be located around Fort Wayne this morning um, and throughout the day. Um, anywhere from the Parks Department has partnered with us, so check the parks. Um, local businesses I know are involved. Um, so just as you're driving around, look for the stands and go support our youth. Are there any contests out there for the kids who have stands today? Yes, there are two contests left. Um, best stand, so kids are going to send us pictures of their stand with the, the participants, you know, serving their lemonade. Um, so the best stand is going to win. Um, and then the second contest is going to be the best business. And so each, each kid has a business results form. They're going to fill that out. So how much did they make? How many cups did they sell? What was their, their profit margin? Where was their break even? Um, they're going to submit that form and the, the winner will um, get some prizes as well. Obviously, we have a stand behind us, but that's not necessarily what all of the stands are going to be looking like. They all have their unique touch to it. So what should people be looking for when they're out and about? Um, just be looking for groups of kids, um, lemonade stands, obviously. Um, kids are allowed to kind of make their stand look however they want. And so um, just, just look for the lemonade stands. Are we looking for the kids to do anything special with the money that they earn? Yes, um, they're encouraged to save some. Um, spend some and then give some. So hopefully some of the charities around town will be getting some of that money back. Hopefully they'll set up a savings account for a rainy day and maybe go out and buy themselves an iPod, maybe a book, maybe they'll buy their mom something for Mother's Day. Um, so those three things are what we're trying to encourage them. That's good timing. Nice plug for moms That's out right, there. Yeah. Now I know it's early to ask this because it's finally the day you guys have been working for, but plans begin shortly after. Are we going to see this next year again? We will, yes. We're already starting starting for 2013. Um, we're looking at May 11th, 2013, so it's the second Saturday in May again. Now I've heard, I've been on the Lemonade Day website. you got a great website there, and I see that some of the kids are also, it's not just lemonade necessarily. Some may have treats or other things. Do you know about any special things going on at stands? Yes. Um, in fact, I know uh, Luke Fallbush. Um, he's going to be at Buckner Park. He's going to have lemon cookies. So shout out to Luke. Um, please uh, check that out. There's going to be cookies, popsicles. I know Kylie's daughter has popsicles. Um, so it's not just lemonade. There's going to be treats and other things to purchase as well. Of course, there's lots you could do with lemons. Guys, thank you so much for coming in this morning to talk about Lemonade Day. And good luck to all of the kids out there participating in it. And hey, it's going to be around next year too. So if you didn't get involved this year, plan for next. Thanks, guys, again.